good boy. How long has he had it on there for? Uh, it's been about an hour. Harry the parrot is making an after-hours visit to the Bondi clinic. Somehow he's managed to get a gold bell wedged onto his beak. So you've been trying to get it off? Uh, we tried, yeah, we tried it on me and my, uh, my other half, but to no avail. But helping a stressed out bird with a bling problem is not going to be easy. The hardest aspect of getting this bell off is the fact that Harry doesn't like being held. Come on. Come on. Oh. How do you get a bell off a beak from a bird that doesn't like being touched? That's a challenge. He likes to chew beads, yeah. and so we're getting like monkey bags of beads, and I think the bell was in there. All right, so I'm gonna have to find a way here of basically catching him yeah. with my hands, mm -hmm. but securing that beak, because that beak is, is quite powerful, even though it's mm -hmm. got the, the bell on it. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know about it when, it when it gets you. The more Harry flies around, the more stress he puts on his whole system, and the more difficult it becomes for me. If we're gonna get that bell off, it has to be quick, otherwise, Stress can kill Harry. This will be a tricky operation. Oh my. Once the bell is dislodged, Harry could easily swallow it and choke. You can start by trying to lift up these, these little burrs here on the bell. Come on, Harry. No, no, no. Harry, hey, don't swallow it. Don't swallow it. I thought he was going to swallow there for a second. Oh, yeah. I consider myself a lover of all animals. Six. Harry's not a lover of all vets. That was very clear. It's a good result. But the friendship, was there ever one? There you go, pal. There you go, mate. We'll get you home now. You're all done. I think if you could tell now, we'd probably be swearing. Swearing at anyone in particular, do you think? Uh, definitely. You'd probably see about one in 50 dogs that really freak out about having their nails done. Now Mel, between you and me, he was a lot bigger than he actually is. That's why we can't do it. And he had a gun. Yeah, he definitely had a gun. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, it's just a needle. Well, you can't see it. Look, we'll hide your head. How can we help you? I've got this little guy here whose name's Dazza, and he's about two years old, and I want to get his nails cut. Two-year-old okay. Dazza has, has a been... foot phobia. Well, when I touch his paws, he just goes bizarro. <laughs> like he's doing now, wiggles around, tries to bite me, tries to scratch me. See, it goes bizarro. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa. Claudia named her puggle after Brisbane Broncos rugby league star Darren Lockyer. Basically, like a little baby that doesn't like a needle. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> As a result of his foot phobia, <gasps> Dazza has me. never had his nails clipped. I don't think there's anything wrong with these joints. I actually think it's all um, it's all up here. Dazza. You're scared of the crazy woman. <laughs> Wheelbarrow. <laughs> You'd probably see about one in 50 dogs that really freak out about having their nails done. Ow, you can get hurt. Now Mel, between you and me, he was a lot bigger than he actually is. That's why we can't do it. And he had a gun. Yeah, he definitely had a gun. <laughs> Dazza has won the battle, but maybe not the war. The other option is sedation. Claudia is going home to decide if she wants to fork out the $100 for the procedure. It's hoping to uh, make it cheaper, but you know, unfortunately, it's, that's not the way. It's not the way the cookie crumbles. You're gonna get clipped today, yes you are. Oh yes you are. No more scratching mummy. No more scratching mummy. Two-year-old Dazza is back at the Bondi clinic, proudly wearing his Broncos coat. Hey. The puggle has resisted all attempts to cut his nails. I think he does know that he's getting his nails clipped. Apart from scratching Claudia, Dazza's nails could soon become ingrown. If that happens, even walking would be painful. Daz, sorry to interrupt you from your toy. <laughs> We're gonna go and sort you out. Is that okay with you? That's okay? fine, good luck. Rules have changed. I've got things on my side. I've got the old stacked in my favour. I do like his jacket, but I don't know who they are. 
Who are they? Yeah, Broncos. Uh, oh. <laughs> they play football. Do they? Rugby league. <laughs> that one. It's one with the ball that's not circular. Daz's foot phobia has forced Chris to take the extreme measure of sedating him so his claws can be clipped for the first time. All big and brave. Show them what you're made of. Alright. Oh, it's just a need. Oh, you can't see it. Look, we'll hide your head. Dazza is making one last stand. Dr. John. <laughs> it's time to get some backup. <clears throat> I'll just it in the back. Thank you. Took John to bring down Darren Lobster. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a bit of a fearsome beast. <laughs> I always find the nails seem to really freak people out because they, they just don't know where to cut them and it's actually, it's not that hard. You can see where the pink quick ends and the, I guess the whitish nail begins. So you're pretty right just to cut in underneath that. And you can see no blood and no pain. I think he's having a really good dream now. He's really not worried about his feet. What do you think? I'm just wondering whether he thinks we could possibly do some orthodontic work while we're here. <laughs> no, he looks too cute. Hello. Hello. Hey, Dazza. Ooh, saying thank you. Dazza's toenails are trimmed, but unfortunately, it's unlikely he'll ever get over his quite a few months. In the meantime, what, what you could try yep. is actually walking him on tarred roads or concrete yep, yep, yep. just to keep them worn down. No problem. And also just play with his feet a lot. Okay. Him, just yeah. pick up his feet and play with them so he gets used to it. No problem. All right. Thank you so All much, Claire. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Go the Broncos. Go the Broncos, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Thank you Good very luck. much. Bye bye. See you, Daz. <laughs> if you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way.